Good morning, everybody. AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, a lot of amplifiers here, a couple 30L1s, a Drake L4B, just waiting on some Ameritrons, waiting on parts, and a few amps here I'm waiting on payments for. So today we're going to work on the 6 meter power supply. So I got the Variac here. I'm setting it up so he can adjust it from the rear of the power supply cabinet. So no mounting tabs on the top. I didn't want to put a bracket in and mount it sideways. I just want to, I'm going to you know, mount it flat, take the shell off, take the knob off, and um, have a right angle drive. I'm going to show it all. So I'm going to get to work. Well, I'm going to pull out all the adapters first. I'll show you those, the right angle drive, all that stuff. And then I will uh, mount it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've placed it in the cabinet. I've not marked or drilled the holes yet for the mounting. I installed this feed through coupler thingy. So I went with this setup instead of the collar setup, like I said. I forgot I had these. I had about a you know, handful of these left. So there's like a uh, basically a feed through bushing and a uh, clip on either side to hold this shaft in place. So if someone pushes on it, it has the clip that takes the force. And if they pull on it, it has the inner clip. So what I'm going to do is I put a split washer because the threads run out uh, before it hit the panel. So I put a split washer and now it's tight, it's not going anywhere. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, even though this isn't needed, you know, for isolation purposes, I wanted to add this so if someone pushes on the back panel, like you see it flexes just a teeny bit, uh, it'll take the stress off the vertical shaft, okay? Same goes for if somehow it got went out. I don't see how it'll go outwards, but you know, just in case. I like to think of all possibilities when I'm uh, designing and building something. So I'm going to go ahead and temporarily install this. I'll Move it over this way, install it, make sure it's turning okay, put the knob on. I'll mark the holes, drill the holes, put the screws in. Well, actually, I won't put the screws in yet. I'm going to uh, wire the connections for the uh, primary side of the transformer, and then I'll connect the secondary connections. I'll get that all secured. And um, next step will be uh, filming transformers, okay? So I will be back. See you soon. Okay, I'm finishing this up for the day. FedEx guy cam, I have to get to work on a ham amp. So, clamp the wiring. As you can see, I have three bucket loads of these clamps. So I love using them. I have all sorts of sizes. Clamp these wires over here, everything zip tied. Smaller clamp over there for the on off switch. I have to get a quarter inch bolt. Put that to the rear panel. That's the ground. Pressure interlock diaphragm switch. It'll have the tube coming off and it'll have a strain relief and some slack and it'll connect, it'll go through the, the cover and poke into the bottom of the RF deck. I've got the terminal strip for the blower. It's an EBM PAPS type I'm using. I'll put the starting cap over here and I'll have a quick disconnect and strain relief on that. It's the terminal strip for the SOW cable. It'll go up to the top. Literally, uh, it just powers the relays up there. It's like, like uh, less than an amp. It's about an amp or it's less than an amp. It's like nothing. So. It's all secured. The wiring going to the primary of the Variac, and then the wires coming off the Variac, going to the filament transformers. I'll stick there, stick those right there, and then I'll have the secondary leads and the center tap, the cathode return, come up to. I'll show that after. I'll get that in. That's next. So, got the knob, little tiny knob. So, he'll set it to the proper filament voltage. You know, basically just following the care and feeding of power grid tubes. Uh, the RF deck has terminals on the back to stick his probes in for his, his uh, voltmeter so he can take a reading right off the socket. Uh, go back to one of the other videos, see how that's set up. That has safety in line in case they're shorted together. The terminals, if they're shorted together. So, um, so you can adjust it and just read from the knob. Pretty slick, huh? Okay, so 
I added this like I said I was going to do. So watch. So push on the back wall. Gives it some flex. So it's not putting any stress whatsoever on the vertical shaft. So taking a while on this, but it's coming out really nice. So I just set this all back here. And uh, all Teflon wiring I have. So thanks for watching. I will be back with another installment soon, but I'm getting there. I'm using 10 amp diodes, 10 A10s for the rectifier. So, on a perf board. So, thanks for watching. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. See you guys soon.